Fourthly, Jesus is the only judge. Jesus is the only judge. Let's listen to the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 42 and 43. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. Praise Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is appointed as the judge. Jesus is appointed by the Father as the judge of the living and the dead. Dear friends, Jesus is our only judge. In John's Gospel, chapter 12, the one who rejects me, the one who does not receive my words, will have a judge. On the last day, the very words that I have spoken to you will be the judge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word is Jesus. So Jesus will be our judge at the end of our life. On the last day, Jesus will appear as a great judge. My dear friends, Jesus came once to this earth. He appeared in the form of a small, helpless little baby in Bethlehem, born of poor Mother Mary, and he was supported by Joseph, a poor carpenter. No more you will find Jesus coming in that lowly state, a helpless state. He will come again, surely, definitely, but he will come as our eternal judge, as a king of king and lord of lord, almighty judge he is going to appear. On that day, when he appears, all of us will be rewarded for what we have done. All of us must appear before the judgment seat of God. And at that time, each one of us will receive the recompense for our deeds while we were living in our body on this earth. Whether good or evil, small or big, we will be rewarded. If we have lived a holy and righteous life, we will receive eternal reward. If we have lived a sinful life, we will be doomed to eternal fire. So my dear friends, as we are living, live a holy life. Keep Jesus not only as your intercessor and mediator, but your eternal judge who is going to judge you at the end of your life. No need to be afraid of Jesus. Love Jesus passionately. Proclaim him as the Lord and Savior. Confess with your lips that Jesus alone is the Lord and Savior. Lead a holy life. Give alms to the poor. You will reach heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Matthew chapter 25 verses 34 and 41. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. This passage of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25, from 34 onwards, it is the scene about the last judgment. Jesus will come as our judge and all the people will be gathered. All those who lived in this world from creation till that last judgment day will be gathered. They will be divided into good and bad people, holy and the sinful people. And the verse 34 says, You blessed of my father, come and inherit the kingdom prepared for you by my father. And the verse will follow because I was hungry, you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was naked, you clothed me. I was a stranger, you welcomed me into your home. I was sick, you looked after me. I was in prison, you came and saw me. All these things, acts of charity, the Lord will be saying. For that, recognizing the face of Jesus, the least and last brothers and sisters with whom we are we are going to merit heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As much as we see Jesus' presence in the neglected, in the sick, the downtrodden, the faceless, the people who have no address, when we identify them, when we serve them, when we fulfill their need, it is to Jesus we are serving and the reward will be eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 On the other hand, if you do not see the face of Jesus in the downtrodden, the least and last people, sick, lonely, abandoned, those who are in prison, those who are condemned to death and so on, the Lord will also deny us on the last day and we will be sent to eternal fire. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus will be coming very soon. Whether you believe it or not, we are living at the end time now. All the prophecies are being fulfilled. The coming of the Lord Jesus is very close at hand. In fact, his footsteps are heard 
let the bridegroom be the church be awake to welcome him we do not know when the lord is coming but he is coming we do not know the day or the hour his coming will be sudden nobody will know the hour he has said himself i will come like a thief he has said also his coming will be like lightning flashing from one end of the sky to the other so quick and sudden it will be we should not be disappointed we should not be caught unawares but all the time be holy lead a righteous life be watchful in prayer do alms giving as jesus has said feed the hungry clothe the naked welcome the stranger if you do that and if you proclaim that jesus is the only lord whatever may be the time when the lord jesus comes you will be found worthy to be taken to heaven with him therefore watch and pray lead a holy life give alms fulfill the needs of the least and last brothers in the society the lord will take you to heaven to inherit eternal joy praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 dear friends proclaim the truth boldly to the whole world please repeat jesus is lord jesus is lord he is the only true god he is the only true god jesus is our only mediator jesus is the only mediator jesus is our only intercessor jesus is the only intercessor jesus is our judge jesus is our judge Jesus for being with us during this beautiful time and instilling in our hearts the eternal truths about you we acclaim you as our only lord and savior we acclaim you as our only intercessor and mediator we believe that you are going to come soon to take us all home to be with you eternally we welcome you lord jesus to be our lord and master We welcome you Lord Jesus into our lives. We want to accept you as our personal Lord. We want to accept you as the only way truth and the life. Be with us Lord Jesus on our life's journey and help us to reach home with you one day in heaven. This prayer we make in your name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.